Hi, I'm Lynn Paget, and I'm a rehabilitation psychologist here at the National Cancer Institute. I do work in two broad areas, cognitive effects of cancer and cancer treatments, and psychosocial distress and distress screening related to cancer. It's very common for people to say, well, of course you're stressed, or of course you have distress, you have cancer. But what we know is that distress is a broad global concept, and recent calls to implement distress screening in cancer populations have received mixed reviews, so there's a large body of evidence that's missing in this area. Some of the questions that we have um, are related to measurement. So distress in cancer is this broad global construct that includes emotional problems, social problems, cognitive problems, behavioral problems, and spiritual or existential angst. That's a huge concept. How do we measure it? What domains are most important for patients? The next thing is how do we screen for that? Um, screening has a very specific definition within the medical literature and distress screening may or may not fit in under that current medical conceptualization of screening. So there's a tension there and we need to figure out how best to use provider time and patient time, both in screening and what the outcomes of screening are. We want to explore looking at distress screening not as a point in time, but rather as a process that looks at detection, assessment, and management. I have two main projects right now, one in each area. So in the domain of cognition, we are working on a project that's going to link neurodevelopmental and health outcomes to children who were exposed to cancer treatment in utero. So databases, pregnant women, and then linking those women to um, their child's birth and looking at outcomes beyond birth, hopefully onto neurodevelopment, motor development, cognitive development, any kinds of cardiac toxicities or other issues that may um, arise and then following these children through to school age. The second project is in the area of distress. As we look at measures for distress screening, there are a plethora of them and they cover a variety of different constructs. There's an inherent tension in that some sets of measures tend to be used by clinicians and some sets of measures tend to be used by researcher. Part of our current project is called GEM Distress Management. Grid-enabled measures, or GEM, is a wiki-based platform that NCI has put together that allows users to register and then enter instruments. Um, so for us, those instruments would be things used for distress management and screening. Once you enter those measures or put a link to the PDF, we gather user ratings. We're hoping through this initiative to begin to push towards data harmonization and be able to start to facilitate research both on the salient items that we need to assess when we're looking at distress, as well as gain some clarity on what kind of constructs people are using. If you have any interest in cancer-related cognitive changes or distress screening as it relates to cancer care, I'd love to talk to you. So please feel free to go to the NCI website. You can look me up under Lynn Paget, shoot me an email, give me a call, and we'll set up some time to chat about your ideas.